morning everyone as you can see i'm not even home anymore i'm over at, by my garden working on my milk jugs some of them are spouted and i need to water them today i made myself a blackberry kefir smoothie i forgot to add my okra oops oops but at least i'm drinking kefir <laughs> there's hope <laughs> so anyway that's what i'm doing for breakfast i'm not sure what lunch is yet but i'm working on my garden i'll show you that in a minute All right, I'll show you my garden. Actually, it's not my garden. It's my milk tugs, but you can see I have them all lined up. This tub and these two over here, I just put water in and I'm putting the jugs in a little bit of time letting them soak to get enough water in them because it's rather warm this week. So I probably will have to come back on Thursday and do it again because it's like, I think yesterday it was up in the 70s or 80s. I don't remember, it was quite warm, so. I'm super excited. I have a lot of them germinating. If I remember, I'll go through and show you because I found a bunch more today when I was doing it. And I am I have some that, um, if you look over here, like you can barely see the labels on those. I used a blue marker and although I can still see the labels on there, they're hard to read and it's just steaming over them. So I have a marker and I'm gonna rewrite them. Also these ones that are all my lettuce, they have the same problem, which is super annoying. So. I'm just gonna rewrite them so that I can read them. The pink, I don't know if you can tell, let's see, the pink is over there. I'm gonna rewrite those too, but I don't know if I'll rewrite them today. Those haven't actually rubbed off and are harder to read. They're just not as bright as I want them. And the thing is, is I thought bright pink would be awesome. It just isn't showing up really well. I think it would show up really well if it was on a color, just not clear, so. Anyway. It's my first run of the uh, dipping them in the water and getting them a drink. All right, so I'm working on chicken curries, and I need to cube this chicken up, and then I will add the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> Cut up a 
half a cabbage. Oops. And it says that I don't have to add it in the liquid. That makes me nervous. So if I wake up in the morning and it smells good and it burnt, I'm going to be very sad. I'm really tempted to add just a little bit of water. I'm going to add a cup of water. That will make me feel better. So for lunch today, I just had some ham and ham and leftover carrots that my sister sent me the other day. And I did not take a picture because I totally forgot. <laughs> but I promise I ate lunch. Isn't that good? My sister, my brother-in-law made cooked carrots and he was attempting to try and make it dairy-free because some of us are dairy-free in my family. And he did a good job. He actually added a little brown sugar. I never would have thought of that to eat my carrots that way, but they were really good. So just for further reference, if you want some delicious cooked carrots, add brown sugar. They're really good. And coconut oil. No, we did olive oil instead of butter. It was still delicious. All right. So I have lunch here. I have my chicken curry. I taste a little texture pretty good. 